In the New Testament, in John chapter 4, Jesus said the time is coming, and it now is, when those who worship the Father will worship Him in spirit and in truth. So there's an element of our worship that has to do with our spirit, our emotions, our hearts are drawn towards God in praise. But our worship involves not only our heart, it involves also our head. He says, we worship him in truth. It was Pontius Pilate that sarcastically asked Jesus, what is truth? There's another point in the New Testament where Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So the only way to God the Father is through Jesus the Son. And it's really easy for us to come to Him. The Bible teaches that if we come to the point where we admit that we've sinned, that is that we've broken the Word and the will of God, and we simply cry out to Him for mercy, then He forgives us. In fact, the Bible says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. So He not only forgives us, but He changes our life. Now, it may be that you've already done that. You say, well, I've asked Christ in my life. I'm a child of God. But the reality is, you're not really worshiping Him in spirit and truth. Maybe you've drifted from God. It's not so much that you ran away from God, but maybe you just drifted from Him. You didn't intend to, but you have. Maybe you've drifted from Him in your behavior, your lifestyle, maybe in your beliefs, in your worldview. You know how far you are from God? The furthest any of us can ever be from God. We're no further than just one prayer away. That's as far as you can get from God. Just one prayer. A prayer, a confession, say, Lord, I blew it. Lord, I've messed it up. Lord, would you forgive me? Would you really take control and be the Lord of my life? I think that's a prayer that God will always honor. I want you to join me right now for prayer, if you would. Father, we thank you for this wonderful night of praise. We thank you, Father, that you're willing to forgive us, that we're willing, you're willing to change our lives. And we pray now that you would give courage to those that have never trusted you. We pray that you would give them the courage to admit that they've sinned. We pray that you would give them the courage to call upon your name and to trust you as their Savior. We pray, Father, for those that perhaps have drifted away from you, that, Lord, as we continue to worship, that you would draw us back close to you and that we would be willing to surrender ourselves completely to you. We pray these things in the strong and the precious name of Jesus.
Thanks for listening. Join me on my walk towards glory.